Yani go to malls. Go to malls and watch the men. Huh? Don't watch women. Watch only men. And laugh your head off. You find people, respectable people, walking, decent people, married people. And the minute they hear the high heel sound, click, 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 immediately you find heads turning. It might be a man wearing a high heel, huh? but the sound itself ignites something. So subhanAllah, shaitan works in strange ways. His job is to tempt you. The Prophet ﷺ went further to forbid women from wearing perfume to non-mahrams. Even if coming to the masjid. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him. So a woman fully dressed in niqab and mashallah, nothing. And he found a beautiful smell, a beautiful scent coming from her. Incest. And he asked her, where are you going? Ya Amat al-Jabbar, the slave of Allah, the Almighty. Where are you going? To the masjid? She said, yes. She, he said to her, go back and have a full shower. Because the Prophet said, والسلام, whoever goes out wearing perfume, going to the masjid, Allah would not accept her prayer until she goes back and has a full shower. Because of that perfume. And biologists tells us that they, they've discovered recently that there is a gland in the, in the nose of men that provokes a, a, a sexual desire. Not only that, the Prophet says, والسلام, whoever that is a woman, whoever wears perfume and goes out of her house and passes by men so that they can find the perfume smell, she is committing an act of fornication or adultery. Imagine. And the Prophet instructed والسلام, women when they come to the masjid to come without any sort of perfume to the masjid. How about if they're going to, which is, what, what is the masjid? The Prophet tells us, the most beloved piece of land to Allah is the masjid. And the worst and most abhorred piece of land to Allah is the aswaq, the markets. And how do our women go to the markets? Have a bottle of perfume. What are you doing? Yes, I'm a Muslim. I have to show people that Islam is beautiful and Islam smells good. Yeah, you, but you're doing it on the wrong place. You should do this, but you don't do it to an mahram because this has more uh, harm than good.